Welcome back to Bagel Top Games for another video in the expansion pack series. I was finally able to get my hands on this expansion, so today we will be featuring Realm of Kings, the newest expansion from Legendary. This expansion is a 100 card small box expansion featuring the Inhumans as well as some other classic villains. Just like Into the Cosmos, there are some returning keywords as well as some brand new keywords and a bunch of new cool stuff here, so we're going to take a look at what this expansion has to offer. Just a note, I've changed the way I'm doing the expansion pack series. This time I will be using all the extra cards including special bystanders, grievous wounds, sidekicks, etc. from all the expansions. Only the cards that are part of the setup will be exclusive to the expansion I'm featuring whenever possible. And with that, let's take a look at who we're featuring today in this setup. Our mastermind today will be none other than Maximus the Mad Brother of Black Bolt. First we see the keyword Highest Abomination. Now Abomination is a returning keyword. Abomination means a villain gets additional attack corresponding to the printed attack of the hero in the HQ directly below it. Now Realm of Kings adds some qualifiers, for example Highest Abomination doesn't take the attack from the hero below it, it takes the highest attack from all of the heroes in the HQ and adds it to this villain or mastermind. So Maximus has a base attack of 8, let's say there's a hero in the HQ that is a 4 attack, that means it'll make his attack 12. So he'll be easier to hit if I have weaker heroes in the HQ. He always leads the Inhuman Rebellion, and his Master Strike has to do with using his tactics as Master Strike effects. Now as Maximus tries to usurp the throne, he is going to carry out the War of Kings. There are 11 twists in this scheme, and in a nutshell you're going to have to pay more and more recruit to make the bad effect not happen. And if you can't pay the recruit, bad effects will happen, and when too many bad effects happen, evil will win. We'll get into more detail when the scheme twists occur. All right, let's go ahead and put our deck together. Because this is a small box expansion, we will be using every single hero in the expansion for this game, starting with Black Bolt, Medusa, of course, the Elemental Crystal, then we've got Gorgon featuring Lockjaw, and finally Karnak. All right, now let's take a look at our villain deck. I've already got the two bystanders here, so let's go ahead and add Inhuman Rebellion and the Shi'ar Imperial Elite. Now this small box expansion did not include any henchmen, so to keep with the theme I'm going to be using the Shi'ar Patrol Craft henchmen from the X-Men set in this game. And of course we add our 5 Master Strikes and 11 Scheme Twists. Before I shuffle everything up you may be wondering what this little throne is all about. Uh, this does not come with the set, I have this separately, however I will tell you what it's all about when we start the game. So let's get everything shuffled. All right, that is done. Let's go ahead and fill up our HQ. Who are we going to start with? We've got Karnak to start with, and then we have Medusa, Crystal, Black Bolt, and Black Bolt. Almost everybody, but we have a wide variety here. Ooh, and Medusa's rare right off the bat, so we'll see how quickly I can get that. That's it for the setup. Let's get started. And what are we going to pull for our first turn? Of course, it's a scheme twist right away. All right, now let's take a closer look at the scheme. So twist one to eight, stack this twist next to the scheme as a battlefront. This turn, you may pay one recruit per battlefront to supply the war. If you pay, you gain the throne's favor. You may KO one of your cards. If you don't pay it by the end of the turn, right after you draw a hand, stack a card from the shield officer stack next to the scheme as a victorious general. The mastermind gets the throne's favor. If they already have it, you gain a wound. Twist 9 to 11, same thing, but with two victorious generals, and then evil wins again when there are six victorious generals. So it'll be impossible for me not to get one recruit this turn, so I'm definitely going to pay it, which means I gain the throne's favor. Now here's what it means to gain the throne's favor. Now the instructions say to pick any object around you to use as the throne's favor. I happen to actually have my little 3D printed throne here, so that's what I'm going to be using. It functions basically as a token that is controlled by either a player or the mastermind. Some cards will let you do things to gain the throne's favor, some cards will let you do things if you have the throne's favor only, and then the mastermind has some devastating effects that he can do if he has the throne's favor. So it is in my best interest to make sure the mastermind does not get it. So I should be able to pay that, let me go ahead and see what my starting hand looks like. Alright, I have all shield agents, which means I have six recruit, so I will spend one of those recruits to supply the war here. Alright, so I gained the throne's favor. And I can KO a card, why not? I'll go ahead and KO this shield agent. Okay, so the scheme twist is taken care of. Each additional scheme twist is going to make this a little trickier, but we'll come back to that if we need to. Oh, let me make sure I've played these cards. Just shifting them over to show that I've played them. And I have a lot of recruit points, so what should I start with? 
Declaration of War is a really good card to start with. I'm using all in humans heroes, so that effect will lightly trigger almost every time, and it helps you gain the throne's favor. This will not work well with Crystal because Tech is the only class that she doesn't work well with, but it will work well with the other Black Bolt cards, so I might need to go that angle if I recruit this. But this is also good for early game. If I have the Thorn's Favor, I can spend it to reveal the top two cards of my deck, put each of those cards with no rules text into your hand. The Grey Shield cards have no rules text, so this would be really good for getting big hands early on, so I'm going to go ahead and recruit Declaration of War. And in his place, we've got another Black Bolt. So it looks like I might be able to get some Black Bolt stuff going on on the left hand side. But now it's time for the right side. I hope I start pulling some Master Strikes because it'll be great to get those out of the way early. But nope, we have a Henchman. Again, the Shi'ar Patrol Craft are from the X-Men expansion. The Realm of Kings expansion does not include the Soaring Flight keyword. However, we will be using it here. So the fight effect is the next hero you recruit this turn has Soaring Flight. That means when you recruit that hero, instead of putting it into your discard pile, put it into your next hand as an additional card. So it's kind of like Teleport, except it only triggers when you recruit it. Five Agents, one Trooper. Let's play them all. I can't do anything with that attack. However, the recruit is a different story. This Black Bolt is a five cost, but I've already decided I want Black Bolt to work on the left side, helps with the cards with no rules text. So what are our other options here? Brilliant Strategist is cool, it has a when recruited effect, this is a new keyword for Realm of Kings. It basically means you do the thing that it says when you recruit it and no other time. So if I were to recruit Karnak right now, I'd get one attack, which means I'd have a total of two attacks, still couldn't do anything with that. It does have the superpower when you draw a new hand of cards at the end of this turn, draw an extra card. Very useful for early game, but I would need another red covert card to trigger that superpower. Now this is Crystal's Earth, Air, Fire, and Water card. She has an interesting mechanic where she has four different types of classes needed to trigger her superpower. Fits in with the elemental theme. Her more expensive cards let you treat her cards as all of those types, so she works well with herself. Early game, this doesn't do that well. It gives me two attack instead of recruit, and then I can't trigger that effect until much later. So while I do like this card overall better, I think I'm going to go with that Karnak card. It'll be more useful for early game, especially if I get some more Covert cards over there. So let's go ahead and recruit him. Alright, let's put Crystal back and replace him there. Alright, I have three recruit left. Maybe I'll get something else useful I can use over there. And, uh, ooh, let's take a look. Oh, this is very useful for early game. Two recruit. I can teleport a zero cost hero right now. Or I would have if I didn't play them all. I have nothing in my hand left over, so I can't do that. However, it is a covert card, and it does have a superpowered teleport card. So teleporting and drawing extra cards can work really well with each other. So yeah, let's keep this going. Let's recruit him. A pretty good start, I'd say. And let's see what we can set up for the left. Oh, another one. Okay. He'll be waiting for me next turn. But maybe Black Bolt will be recruitable on the left-hand side. Let's find out. To the left-hand side, what's attacking? Our first non-henchman villain. Mentor enters the city and he has an ambush effect. Ambush, the mastermind gains the throne's favor. If they already have it, each player discards a card. Luckily he doesn't already have it, but the throne's favor does go over here to Maximus. That's too bad. A three and three split. Well, at least I can take out that uh, Shi'ar patrol craft. Yep, three attacks gonna do it, so let's go ahead and give it a KO. Remember, the next hero I recruit gains soaring flight, which means that when I recruit it, it goes to my next hand as an extra card. So let's see what I can recruit. I only have three recruit, but this Black Bolt might be very useful if I'm going that route. Break the silence to recruit. When recruited, you may KO one of your cards with no rules text. Get rid of a gray card right off the bat, that's good. And then there's a superpower. You gain the throne's favor. If you already have it, you may spend it to get two recruit. So the more blue range cards, especially the Black Bolt cards I can get, the more I can recruit. It'll help with the scheme. It'll help me recruit things. It's a win-win. Let's go ahead and recruit. Break the silence. And after I replenish, that's all I can do this turn. Hey, good stuff for the left hand if I can get five recruit. On to the right. I think we have more villains coming. And we have, oh, another henchman. Avoiding those master strikes until I really don't want them, huh? Three attack, three recruit again. If there were some way to get the throne's favor back for Maximus, I would do it. Unfortunately, there is no way right now. However, I can do another Soaring Flight with this KO here. So let's go ahead and KO the Shi'ar Patrol Craft, gain Soaring Flight on the next hero I recruit. Okay, now let's take a look at what to recruit. I seem to be having a Covert Card theme here with uh, Karnak and Gorgon. The When Recruited effect is going to kind of go to waste, but no big deal. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and recruit him here. And I don't think there's anything I can recruit for one. Okay, we have some more expensive cards out here. Let's see what we can do with our left hands next turn. 
I think I'll have a good hand here, so hopefully nothing tries to... Well, that's not going to ruin my hand, but it will make things a little trickier. Alright, that is our second twist, so our second battlefront. So I have to pay two recruits this time to supply the war. Good things happen if I do, bad things happen if I don't. Let's see what I have. Well, thanks to the Soaring Flight, I did get seven cards. With this Black Bolt's effect, I may have been able to get one of those five costs this turn, but I want to avoid Victorious Generals. So it doesn't look like I'm going to recruit anything this turn. So my great cards give me three attack, two recruit. I'm going to use those two recruit to supply the war, which means if I pay, I gain the Throne's Favor. I can KO one of my cards. So first, let me pay. Now I get the Throne's Favor back. And I can KO a card. I, I need some recruit this game, so I'll go ahead and recruit one of my troopers here. Alright, now it's time to play some Black Bolt cards. Okay, Break the Silence gives me two recruit, and I can't do the effect because I need a blue to trigger it, and it's just a two recruit. Alright, now it's time for Declaration of War. I have my Inhumans card triggering the power, gain the throne's favor. If you already have it, which I do, you may spend it to reveal the top two cards of your deck. Put each of those cards with no rules text into your hand and put the rest back in any order. Well, let me first gain the attack from this base card, so two more attack. So these are the only non-gray cards I have, so they're either going to be two recruit, two attack, or one recruit and one attack if I draw two. I already have enough attack to fight Mantor, any more attack won't help me. If I get two more recruit, that is four recruit, but that won't let me recruit anything here that I want. I could recruit Crystal, which would help me trigger some of the Black Bolt's superpowers, but uh, not sure I want to do that. So I could keep the Throne's Favor, because drawing stuff won't really help me right now. However, the right hand could just get it with an effect next turn. You know what, this game is meant to be played, so I'm going to go ahead and just use it and keep it moving around. By the way, once you use the Throne's Favor and nobody has it, it just goes into open space. So let me spend it. So it poofs out of existence and it will return as soon as somebody or something retrieves it. Alright, let's look at the top two cards of my deck. What do we have? Two Shield Agents, let's play those. Okay, we're left with four Recruit and five Attack. Oh, check this out, I didn't notice this. So Mentor's fight effect is you gain the Throne's Favor. If you already have it, draw two cards. So I won't be able to draw the cards, but at least I will get it back when I fight him. So I'll spend all five of my attack. Let's go ahead and KO him now. And guess what? The Throne's Favor is going to return. It's fun how this thing moves around. Okay, you know what? I'm going to actually take a Shield Officer. Number one, it helps with the scheme getting me more recruit. And number two, it'll help me maybe get some higher cost things. So uh, let's take a Shield Officer. All right, here it is, and it's a standard, so let's go ahead and recruit it. All right, and I think that's all I can do. On to the right side. All right, what's next? We've got a another villain. You might be picking up on the fact that the Throne's Favor moves around a lot when you're playing with Realm of Kings. So he gets plus two. So Starbolt gets plus two when the Mastermind has a Throne's Favor. And guess what? Ambush effect, the Mastermind gains the Throne's Favor. So it goes back to Maximus. And let's put him back in the sewers and uh, plus two counter on him. Thanks again to Soaring Flight, I've got seven cards here. Let's play all of our recruit. Actually, only our great cards because we have to figure out which one of these two to play first. Now here's some awesome news. This will give me seven recruit. So when I go ahead and play him, I'll be able to recruit Medusa, which is awesome. Now this superpower lets me teleport another card from my hand. But if I play this last, there will be no other cards in my hand, so it won't really do anything. Now, Brilliant Strategist will be useful when you draw a new hand of cards at the end of this turn, draw an extra card. So I want to trigger that. So let's go ahead and play this Gorgon card first. Gives me two recruit, and the red card has been played. Now we'll play this Karnak. Gives me one attack, and I get to draw an extra card next turn. So let me just be sure and check this Medusa card. Ooh, Medusa's rare, so check it out. Four attack, when recruited, draw two cards and gain the throne's favor. And her play the card effect is gain the throne's favor. If you already have it, you may spend it to draw two cards. So this right hand side is doing a lot with drawing cards and that's usually a winning strategy for any hand in Legendary. So I'm gonna go ahead and recruit her and remember to do the when recruited effect to draw two cards and gain the throne's favor. So first we'll recruit. Feels pretty good to recruit a rare card this early in the game. Now I draw two cards, two shield troopers came up over here, and now I gain the throne's favor back from Maximus. Awesome, that worked out really well. Let me go ahead and play these cards. Gives me a total of three attack, but I have to remind myself that he loses his buff because Maximus no longer has a throne's favor, so this plus two is gone. He only gets that when the mastermind has the throne's favor. Unfortunately, he's still a four attack and I can't fight him. Oh, we have to replenish our HQ. What are we going to replace him with? Oh, and we have Crystal's Rare, rare after rare. This is a very good card. Let's take a look just for fun. 
I personally love multi-elemental cards in any card game, so the fact that Legendary kind of has one uh, as a hero is really exciting to me. I love this. For attack, when recruited, you may gain a Strength, Instinct, Covert, or Ranged Hero from the HQ that costs 4 or less. Also a good card for early game. Hopefully I can get it. And then once it's played, you basically get to reveal the top 4 cards of your deck, and you get to put one of each class that's not Grey or Tech into your hand. I guess Grey is not a class, but you get to put a green, yellow, red, or blue into your hand. But we'll have to come back to her. Alright, that's it for this turn. I'm going to draw one extra card because of Karnak's effect for next turn, but right now it's on to the left. Alright, can we keep the good progress going? And we've got another Shiar Patrol Craft. Not bad. That's been very useful to help me recruit things early, or at least get them into my hand. Alright, what do we have? Alright, good news. We've generated six recruit, four from these shield agents, and two from this Black Bolt. Remember that he doesn't trigger his superpower without another blue card, so he's just a two recruit right now. However, we can recruit one of these no rules text, five cost Black Bolt cards. Wordless Murmur is a rare recruit and attack card, probably to make up for the lack of rules text, but uh, it's a pretty good universal card, so we'll go ahead and recruit it. And then with one attack and one recruit, there's really not much else we can do, so we're moving on. Alright, I should be worried about the city filling up, but uh, well, maybe we can take care of that. And let's see what we have to play. Well, that extra card drawn might be just enough to take out the strongest villain in the city. All right, three recruit, four attack. Now, four attack's gonna be enough for us to take out Starbolt here. Let's take a look at Starbolt's fight effect. All right, the Mastermind does not have the throne's favor, so it is only a four attack. I can definitely defeat it. Fight, you gain the throne's favor. If you already have it, which I do on the right side, you may KO one of your heroes. So let's do that. Again, this is a recruit heavy game with the scheme. So let's KO this uh, shield trooper right here. Okay, done. Now we can go ahead and KO Starbolt. There's a lot of ways to KO your great cards in this expansion. Nice for people who like to whittle down their decks, which is a good strategy for a deck building game whenever possible. Now what to do with this three recruit? Crystal is the only hero in the HQ that I can afford. The only class I have on the right side is red, and it'll keep working with other red cards as long as I just keep recruiting red ones. However, I seem to be at an impasse with that. Let's just take an officer for now. And we get a standard Maria Hill, and that's it. Hopefully I'll be able to get this crystal a little later, but not quite yet. Come on, city full of henchmen, that would be great. Oh, it's another scheme twist, number three this time. This turn now I have to pay three recruit to supply the war or the bad thing happens. Let's see how much recruit I have. I do have a potential four recruit here, nerfing the ability to recruit more things, but I also don't want the game to lose, so let's play our cards first. Four recruit and four attack. This black bolt doesn't do anything except give me attack because his effect triggers with another inhuman and I don't have any inhumans over here, so that's what I've got. Let's pay three of my four recruit to supply the war. All right, I paid, so I gained the throne's favor, so sorry right side, it's going to the left. And I can KO yet another card. Let's go ahead and KO this shield trooper. All right, I've avoided all victorious generals so far. This is a good start. Unfortunately, nothing left to recruit. I will KO one of these henchmen just to the, for the sake of clearing out the city, except they will not be able to take advantage of the soaring flight. Oh well, what are you going to do? Let's go ahead and KO it. And that's a wrap for the left side. I feel like I'm getting close to attacking the mastermind soon. Oh, bystander. I guess the bystander goes onto the Shi'ar patrol craft. I guess tractor beams are a thing. Awesome, another turn of a lot of recruit. Awesome, four recruit from the shield agents, two recruit from Gorgon and Lockjaw. Can't trigger the effect because I don't have another red card, but I did get six recruit and one attack from that. So guess what I get to recruit? All right, this is Crystal's Uncommon. Uh, her attack is three. When recruited, you may KO one of your cards that isn't green, yellow, red, or blue, which is great. I can get rid of some more shield cards. She is a covert card, so that'll work great with my other covert cards over here. And then later when I play her, you gain the throne's favor. If you already have it, you may spend it to make this card strength, covert, instinct, and ranged this turn. So it becomes all four. I think I mentioned that before. This is the one that works well with the other crystal cards. So 100%, please, let's recruit this. All right, I sent some good stuff happening over here on the right side in a moment. Oh, I have to go ahead and do her effect. By the way, uh, your when recruited effect, there's an order of operations to it. So you recruit it. You put it in your discard, you refill the HQ, and then you do the when recruited effect. It could uh, make a difference in some situations. So now I get to KO one of those non-red, blue, yellow, green cards. Let's follow suit and go ahead and KO this shield trooper. The losing attack might hurt me, but it also would hurt me more to not have the recruit I need to pay for the scheme twist. 
All right, and that's it. Once this right side gets shuffled and we get some more of the non-gray heroes in there, we're gonna get some cool stuff happening, but let's move to the left for now. Okay, what do we have? It could be anything. It's another scheme twist. So there are four battlefronts now. I have to pay four recruit to supply the war. Do I have four recruit? Looks like I will have four recruit and then some. Let's go ahead and take care of this. So my gray cards by themselves give me four recruit as well as one attack. So let's go ahead and pay that to supply the war and do the if you pay effect. All right, now that it's paid, I gain the throne's favor. I've already got it. So that's kind of a wash. You may KO one of your cards. Let's continue the pattern and KO this trooper here. All right, four scheme twists avoided. Now we can finally trigger a Black Bolt superpower. Wordless Murmur is going to be played first. It'll simply give me one recruit three attack. And we're going to get two more recruit from Break the Silence. And it triggers this effect. Gain the throne's favor. If you already have it, you may spend it to get two recruit. I'll do so so I can take the other Black Bolt. I could have recruited this crystal on the left side this turn if I didn't pay the scheme, but that's just the way this goes. So let's pay our throne's favor which just gave me two more recruit, so now we will go ahead and recruit this other Black Bolt. Oh, wait a second, before I do that, let's do this in the right order. First, we're gonna KO this Shi'ar Patrol Craft because, remember it says the next hero you recruit this turn has Soaring Flight. I want to be able to put Black Bolt in my hand next turn, so this is how we do it. First, we KO the Patrol Craft, then we rescue the bystander here, and then we recruit Black Bolt, and he's gonna go in my hand the next turn as an extra card. All right, so I'm hoping that the next time we have a left-hand turn, we don't pull a Scheme Twist. We can use as much Recruit as we can, get some stuff done. Moving to the right. Oh, wait, I didn't refill. Let's refill before I move on. All right, ooh, that'll be good for the next turn, so transition. Now I can see we have Medusa's Rare here already, so hopefully we get, are able to use it with whatever we pull. Oh, another Scheme Twist. Oh, no. I guess that's what you get when there was 11 Scheme Twists in the villain deck. Kind of very thematic if it's an ongoing war, there's battles that pop up all over the place. All right, you know what this means? There are five battle fronts. I need to pay five recruit to supply the war. Let's see if I can. And it looks like I'll be able to. Let's play the gray cards first. And we'll need to play this Gorgon to get the extra two recruit, but which order do I want to play this in? So Lockjaw helps Gorgon out here, and if I trigger the superpower, I can teleport another card from my hand. Now I'm unlikely to generate enough attack to hit Maximus, Medusa will be very helpful when I'm trying to do that. So I'm thinking I might want to teleport her, which means I'll have to play this Gorgon after Karnak, but let's just be sure. Karnak's power will let me draw an extra card next turn, but if I can make it Medusa, I think that's more worthwhile. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play Karnak first for the superpower requirement, so I'll get one attack from him. Then I'll play Gorgon. That'll give me two recruit. So let me pause there and make sure I pay for the battlefront. Again, there's five battlefronts, so let me go ahead and pay five. All right, I paid five. I'll have to do the effect on the scheme. I'm kind of doing this out of order, so I'll do that in a second. I should finish Gorgon's effect. So, Covert, you may teleport another card from your hand. I think I want to teleport this Medusa for a couple of reasons. So she'll give me four attack, and she can let me draw cards or gain the throne's favor if I don't have it. Now, look at Maximus for a second. He's an eight base attack, and he has highest abomination which means that he gains the attack of the highest attack card in the HQ, which is going to be Crystal's Rare here, which is a four attack, so he'll be an eight plus four, he'll be a 12. Even if I use her this turn, that'll be a total of six attack plus whatever I pull from these cards. It's gonna be unlikely that I can get six more attack from two cards that I draw, especially since I've been KOing my shield troopers. So if I play her this turn, I don't think I'm gonna be able to fight anything. So it's best to teleport her instead. So we will finish playing Gorgon here, finish his effect by teleporting Medusa. Okay, so now we would actually pay for the battlefronts and now we would do the effect from the scheme. I've paid it, I gained the throne's favor, and I may KO one of my cards. No troopers out here, so let's KO an agent. Even though the recruit is good, makes it more likely that the non-grays show up. Okay, let's keep going. Please no more scheme twists, I am so tired of them. That's funny, thanks game. Maximus is going to pull his first Master Strike. Reveal one of Maximus's remaining Mastermind tactics at random, use its fight effect, then shuffle it back into those tactics. I really don't want to do that, but I don't have a choice. So let's shuffle these up and see which tactic we get. It's going to be this one. Fight, put each hero from the HQ that doesn't have a printed attack of two or more on the bottom of the hero deck. Maximus gains the throne's favor. If he already has it, he spends it and each player KOs one of their non-gray heroes with an attack icon. So one thing at a time. We have two cards. 
that don't have an attack of two or more. The bad news is I really wanted these for the right side, but looks like that is not going to happen. So they go to the bottom of the hero deck. So let's see what replaces them. Hopefully it'll be something else I can use there. Interesting. Okay. Changing my plans a little bit. And the throne's favor goes to Maximus. All right, that tactic gets shuffled back in and Maximus goes back on top. Oh, I really don't want to do four more of those. That's pretty bad. I forgot to mention that tactic was called Terrigen Bomb. That seems bad. It's all about Terrigen Crystals with these Inhumans. All right, this time I don't have to spend any recruit for anything but recruiting. Let's play our gray cards. Now we'll play Break the Silence. It's only gonna give us the two recruit because we can't trigger the blue effect. But we can trigger this. Okay, Declaration of War gives us two attack. Gain the throne's favor, don't mind if I do. And the if you already have it effect, I cannot do. Interesting, so I have six recruit, no more black bolts out here. I only have black bolt cards in this deck. Do I want to change that? Stomping Shockwave Gorgon will give me immediate sewers abomination. Again, that means look at the card in the, under the sewers, take the attack from that card and add it to his, so it'll be a plus four, which will give me seven attack, not enough to hit Maximus this turn. And then his Streets of Abomination, while that's a cool thing to have, it is triggered by a green card and that's unlikely to happen over on this left deck as I have set it up. This crystal is too expensive right now. Like I said, this one would help trigger some of the blue effects. However, the one on the right side is the one that can act like all four. So the her uncommon that I have on the right side would work better with this card. I probably want to recruit it over there, especially since my two red cards have gone. All right, I really like this card, Find Fatal Flaw. So if you don't know Karnak, his ability is that he can find the weak spot or weak point on an enemy or, or an object. And this works really thematically with that. So when recruited, I get two attack. Again, can't do much right now, but his effect is choose a villain group. You get one recruit for each villain in your victory pile from that group. Let me look at my victory pile real quick. So check it out, one, two, three Shi'ar patrol crafts. So I already have three over here. That's a guaranteed plus three if I play him but it's for recruit though. The right side victory pile has only one Shi'ar patrol craft. There are 10 total in this deck, which means that there's six left. If I can get them all on the left side, he'll be really good at fighting off these scheme twists. And then finally we have Medusa. So when I recruit her, I get to draw a card and gain Throne's favor. And then she has a instinct superpower on the bottom. I have my rare Medusa on the right side, so she would also do better on the right. Out of all these cards, I think because of the three Shi'ar Patrol Crafts I have on the left side and the potential to have more, I think this Karnak is going to be the most useful. It doesn't really work with the Black Bolt cards, but it is something. So let's go ahead and recruit this Karnak. And then before I immediately recruit a sidekick, let's see what I have to replace. Oh, there's my Black Bolt. Can't recruit it now. So two recruit left. Let me go ahead and uh, recruit a good old sidekick. Will it be a special one? It will be a special one. So we take it. And with nothing to fight for three, my turn is over. All right, we've got six scheme twists left and we have four master strikes left. So there's a good chance that this will be one of those two. And there it is. These things keep ruining my fun. Just kidding, it's fun either way. It's just, I wanna recruit stuff. Okay, so the good news is this hand has a lot of really cool stuff in it. The bad news is I need six recruit for six battle fronts to supply the war. Right here, I can only generate three. There is a way for me to gain the throne's favor and then use Medusa's effect to draw two cards, but it would need to be a perfect draw and net me three more recruit in order to do it. I'm probably gonna trigger that, so we'll see if I can do it. We'll come back to this scheme. I'll play my gray cards first. Three recruit, one attack. Now it's time for crystal. Elemental princess gives us three attack. I'm loving this art, by the way. Shout out to Noel Lopez art for all this wonderful art on this set. All right, so gain the throne's favor goes to the right side. Okay, if I already had it, I could have used it to make it four different types of class at the same time. I wouldn't have needed to do that anyway. All right, and I can do a no risk play of Karnak here, gives me one more attack. And because Crystal's card was covert, I get to trigger this effect. I get to draw an extra card by next hand. And finally, we play Medusa's rare Headstrong. I see what you guys did there. So first I get four attack. All right, we have more attack than we've ever generated before in this game, great. Gain the Throne's Favor if you already have it, which I do, you may spend it to draw two cards. I don't see why not, only could help me. Let me go ahead and draw two. And what did I get? More Recruit, not enough to help me though. Oh, I forgot to spend this, this is gone. All right, now look at the situation I'm in. I needed six Recruit to save me from the negative scheme effect, I only got five. I needed 13 attack to fight Maximus, I only got nine. So I have decent points here, can do absolutely nothing with it. However, there is a saving grace here. 
There are a couple of cards in the HQ with when recruited effects. Let's take a look at them. So Gorgon's when recruited is Sewer's Abomination. Medusa's Splitting Hairs is here in the sewers and she is a two attack, so he'll get a plus two. So basically that'll give me two attack this turn, putting me up to 11, does not give me enough to fight Maximus, so doesn't really help me out. Don't have enough for this, no one recruited, no one recruited. Check this out though. So splitting hairs, I already mentioned maybe getting this for the right side. When recruited, draw a card and gain the throne's favor. Not only could I get the throne back, but I could potentially draw one more shield agent. I only need one more shield agent to get six recruit and stave off the scheme twist this turn. I have nothing to lose. Let's go ahead and do this. First, we will recruit her. Great, and now we draw a card from the top of my deck. I really hope it gives me a recruit. All right, moment of truth, and it does not. I thought I got rid of all of these. I guess there was one left. Oh, I forgot the order again. I was supposed to refill this before I did that, so let me do this now. I'll try not to forget that. Oh, another one of these. Well, that didn't go the way I wanted it to. Once again, we have an incredible amount of attack. Nothing to do with it. Can't pay the recruit cost for the scheme. Oh, I'm an idiot. I wouldn't have been able to use that anyway because I recruited Medusa and paid the recruit points, which puts it down to two. So either way, I wasn't able to do it. You guys ready to see how the game hurts me now? Okay, so I was a bad leader and was not able to supply the war. If you don't pay by the end of turn, right after you draw a new hand, so let me do that first. Okay, I've drawn my new hand with my one extra from Karnak. Stack a card from the shield officer stack next to the scheme as a victorious general. All right, here's my officer. I'm gonna put it in a pile for victorious generals. So now I have one. The mastermind gains the throne's favor. If they already have it, gain a wound. All right, so that was twist number six. There are five left. So evil wins when there are six victorious generals. So let's say I can't pay any of the rest of them, okay? So for twist seven and eight, that's one general, two generals, that'll be three. And twist nine through 11, put two generals down there. So if I can't, if I don't pay anything, I only have four twists left before I lose. I think I can manage that. I might be able to pay for some of these. I won't let it get me down. I have some good cards. I'm gonna keep going. Okay, next we have, finally, not a scheme twist. Ambush, choose a hero from the HQ that doesn't have a printed attack of two or more. Oh, hey, check it out. They all have a printed attack of two or more, so I can't do this. Put it on the bottom of the hero deck. So nothing happens there. That's basically gonna make uh, Maximus's master strikes and tactics work better, but that's okay. Okay, what do I have, what do I have? Eh, uh, pretty lame hand, but I'll play it. I hope this means I get a bunch of non-great cards next. Okay, Ms. Lion's special sidekick is going to let me rescue a bystander. We'll do that first. And we have, oh, special one. This is one of the ones from Into the Cosmos. When you rescue this bystander, choose one. Draw a card now or draw an extra card when you draw a new hand of cards at the end of this turn. I could use one more card, one more recruit to get this black bolt. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw one now and cross my fingers. Wait, should I do that or, hmm, this is a tough situation because my next hand could be really good because all the gray cards came out this turn and one extra card could really help. And Ms. Lion lets me draw a card anyway, so maybe I'll get a recruit from that. Okay, I'm gonna choose to draw an extra card when I draw a new hand of cards at the end of this turn. Just like Karnak on the other side. I hope that was the right decision. Okay, now I draw a card. Was it worthwhile what I just did? Here it is. Yes, that's what I wanted. Thank you, Ms. Lion. You go back to the sidekick stack. Okay, with my freshly minted five recruit, I'm gonna get this black bolt here and hopefully later I get his rare so that I can really do some cool stuff, but I'll recruit this one right now. And that's it for this turn. Now note, I am ending my turn with Maximus having the throne's favor. Oh, let me go ahead and refill here. So yeah, he is ending with the throne's favor, which means that over here, if I draw a master strike, especially, it'll be really bad. Or if I draw a fill in with an ambush effect that plays into it. So I'm gonna hope that doesn't happen. Hoping for, an, hoping for a henchman. All right, do my wishes come true? Well, that's good too, they kind of do. Flash captures Cypher, poor thing. Okay, this draw an extra card thing has grown on me. This is great. So three recruit. Now I have some choices to make. Okay, actually, this Medusa lets me draw two cards if I have Thorn's Favor. This Medusa lets me draw one card if I have Thorn's Favor, but only if I play uh, Instinct before it. So if I played this one first, I'd gain the Thorn's Favor and then I could draw one card. None of the other cards give me the Throne's Favor by themselves without a, without a requirement. Okay, so there's only one order I can play these two in if I want to first get the Throne's Favor and do an effect. So let me play them in that order. 
So four attack from her. Then I gain the throne's favor. If I already had it, I could have used it to draw two cards, but there was no other way for me to get it without playing this Medusa first, because this Medusa also lets you gain the throne's favor, but only if you play an instinct card first. Headstrong was the only other instinct card I had, so if I had played this card first, it would have done nothing except give me two attack, which I should get right now. But now I can trigger her effect, so I can spend it to draw a card. I will do that, so spend this, and I will draw one card, and it will give me another shield agent. Now I have to decide the order in which I play these two. Again, this one teleports. I'm not going to have anything left to teleport, so I'll play Gorgon first because I won't teleport anything. He'll just give me two recruit, which is good news because Crystal's second uncommon is six cost. So I'm going to recruit her for sure, so let's remind ourselves of her when recruited. Okay, when recruited, you may KO one of your cards that isn't green, yellow, red, or blue. So let's do this in order. First, we will recruit her. Then we refill the HQ, and after that, we get to do the effect. So now I'll KO one of the cards that doesn't fall into that category. The only ones I have are my gray ones, so we'll KO the shield agent. Really whittling those down this game. And finally we play Karnak. One more attack, and then once again, thanks to Gorgon here, we will trigger his effect, which lets me draw one extra card in my next hand. Okay, so we have eight attack. With Maximus' highest abomination, he's still using this crystal card until I can recruit her. So he is a 12, can't fight him, but I can go ahead and fight Lash. Okay, so Black Bolt under him is a 3 attack, which puts him up to 8 exactly as much as I have, so it's perfect. I can fight him for 8. His fight effect says gain a hero from the HQ with no attack icon that costs 4 or less. Unfortunately, the Realm of Kings set is an attack heavy set, which makes sense, but that means I can't recruit any of these cards because they all have attack icons. At least he's out of the picture. I'm doing a real good job keeping the city empty, but also I might just lose to the scheme, so we'll see what I can get away with. I just need, I need either 12 attack to hit Maximus, or I need 8 recruit to recruit Crystal here. I might be able to pull that off my next turn on the left. We will see. As long as this is not a scheme twist, I might be able to do that recruit. Oh, even better. This will make Karnak stronger with that one card. Oh, I forgot to rescue Cypher over here on the right side. Alright, quick rewind, kind of. Okay, when you rescue it, gain it as a hero, so that's going to go to the right side from the last turn. My bad. Alright, back on track, let's see what we have. Alright, I guess I was right to play the pizza guy that, that way and get an extra card this turn. Looks like it paid off for me. Two recruit from the gray cards, now which order do we play the rest in? I want to KO this henchman before I play this Karnak. So let's play one of these Black Bolt Wordless Murmurs. No rules text on it, you can see from there it's one recruit, three attack, so that's what I get. I'm sensing some cool stuff happening here this turn, you guys. All right, I'll right now use three of that attack to KO this Shi'ar patrol craft and get Soaring Flight on the next hero I recruit. Okay, now what? Oh, let's play this Karnak. Find Fatal Flaw, choose a villain group, you get plus one recruit for each villain in your victory pile from that group. And yes, the henchmen are a villain group. You can't say all henchmen, but you can say, I want to count all these Shi'ar patrol craft, for example, that I have in my victory pile. Let's take a look. Okay, one, two, three, four. That is plus four recruit for me for four Shi'ar victory, or four Shi'ar patrol craft in my victory pile. I'm already at seven. I'm definitely going to be able to get this crystal out of the city if I want to over here. This would have been a good turn to draw a scheme twist, by the way. So, hey, if I keep getting rid of great cards, I can continue to do so. Let's play this second wordless murmur. No reason not to. My recruit is now up to eight and I have three attack. So if I recruit this crystal, not only is she an excellent rare card, but also it'll reduce the attack of Maximus's highest abomination. So when I recruit her, not only does she soaring flight into my next hand, but I get to recruit something for free that's four or less, one of those four class cards. Now here's the bad part. She works really well with multi-class hands. On the right side I have red and I have yellow and almost blue if I recruit the other crystal she will not do very well on the left hand side because most of the cards are blue except for Karnak which is yellow it could help me draw both of those my odds of recruiting her from the right side are not very high I have much more recruit potential on the left plus the goal of the game is to KO Maximus and getting rid of her will make it a little easier so despite the fact that strategically she'll work much better on the right side I'm gonna go ahead and recruit her here on the left to move things along so remember when recruited effect is you get to pick one from the HQ that costs four or less that's green yellow red or blue and you gain it or put it in your discard so first we will recruit her and she's soaring flights right into my next hand now we refill the HQ and hopefully we get something I could use 
Oh, it's another one for the right side. Shoot. Okay, so the only ones I can get for free are these two. Let's look at this Medusa for a moment. I haven't really been doing much with the green cards, but... Oh, she lets you gain the throne's favor, and you can spend it to get to attack. That kind of works, even though it's not blue. And it's a, free, it's a free gain, right? It's not a recruit, so when I use Crystal's effect, I can't do the when recruited effect, but I do get to get it for free. Yep, so let's do that. I will gain this card and refill with... Hopefully, oh, another green card. I really want Black Bolt's rare. It may be all the way down here, but what are you gonna do? Okay, believe it or not, I'm not done. There's more for me to do. Okay, I spent all my recruit. Is there a way for me to get five recruit? If I play this card first, let's see. So Break the Silence gives me plus two recruit, and then I meet the requirement, gain the throne's favor. If you already have it, you may spend it to get two recruit. So if I already had it for some reason, I could get four recruit total, which is not enough for this so I don't think I want to play this first. Oh, I misspoke. I don't want to play it second. I want to play it first to gain the throne's favor, and then this card might give me a chance. So I'll play this, gain two recruit, and I gain the throne's favor. Okay. Very fitting with this scheme, we play Declaration of War. In Human's Requirement, which I have, gain the throne's favor. If you already have it, which I do, you may spend it to reveal the top two cards of your deck. Put each of those cards with no rules text into your hand and put the rest back in any order. Well, if I get a Maria Hill and a Shield Agent this way, I can recruit that Black Bolt, so let's see what I can do. Okay, first I have to get the two attack from this, even though I can't use it. Okay, now I've shuffled my... I've shuffled my discard pile because I only had one card in my deck. I need two to do this effect, so let's... Now that I've shuffled them, let me draw the top two. And here we go. Oh, that's almost exactly what I needed, but not quite. These two go into my hand, so that gives me a total of four recruit and six attack. Just too short, darn. I still want this crystal to go to the right side. So I'll keep up the, the, the theme of getting recruit and I'll take another shield officer. Maybe I'll get a special one. And it's not a special one, but I will take it. Actually, I don't want the special ones because they have rules text. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so Maximus is weaker by one attack. He is now at 11, a little more doable. We'll see if I can do it. Moving on. Oh wait, I spent this, this goes away. By Throne's favor. This is, this is a new mechanic. I got to make sure I'm doing it right. Okay, next turn. All right, what do we have next? A Master Strike. Dislike. I should consider myself lucky that it took so long to get this other one. All right, reveal one of the tactics at random. Do its effect. Put it back. Oh, when I mentioned before that the tactics work with well with cards that have two attack or more, not exactly. They just make his highest abomination better. So he's probably just going to get rid of nothing because, well, we'll see. Shuffling the tactics, and which one are we going to get? What does Maximus do? Oh, he's seizing the throne. Oh, cool. Each player discards down to four cards. Maximus gains the throne's favor. If he already has it, he spends it, and each player discards down to three. Luckily, he doesn't have it, but discarding down to four is kind of a bummer because two turns kind of go out the window. Well, we'll see. Okay, here's the left-hand side. And I had the extra card here, too. Darn. Oh, there's no way I can get five recruit with only four cards in my hand so I have to forget about that guess I'll keep these four these three got discarded and another beefy seven card hand over here gets discarded down what do I have if I were to keep these two I'd get a total of three four five six attack nothing to fight so I will get rid of these and one of these that way I'll have at least two recruit to get a sidekick okay Maximus I hope you're happy I really didn't like that okay let's put that stuff back all right the gray cards give me two recruit now I need to play elemental princess first that's three attack. Again, nothing I can fight this turn, so not really worth anything. Gain the throne's favor, that's nice. Oh wait, I forgot to give it to Maximus. So from the Master Strike, Maximus gains the throne's favor. And with Crystal's card, it goes back to me on the right side. I didn't already have it, so I don't do her effect. Karnak gives me one more attack, and then again, he triggers his draw an extra card for the next hand effect. So thanks to Maximus's meddling, that's all I can do right now. And it is the end of my turn. Oh wait, I forgot to recruit a sidekick. I have two recruit, yes. Recruit a sidekick, hopefully it's something good. And, okay, Red Wing, not bad. And now my turn is over. Next one is, cool, another craft, making Karnak stronger if I can fight it. Let's play these two. Two recruit and three attack. Medusa's Queen of the Inhumans gives me one more attack, and I gain the throne's favor. Keep stealing that from the left and the right side. Can't spend it though. Here's Crystal's Rare Weave, four into one, four attack. Okay, this will determine whether or not I can actually hit Maximus this turn. Reveal the top four cards of your deck. 
put a strength hero, an instinct hero, a covert hero, and a ranged hero from among them and into your hand. Put the rest back in any order. There's only one card on the top of my deck. Let me shuffle my discard. I'm hoping I draw that Karnak so I can get some more recruit and recruit the other Black Bolt. All right, let me draw the top four. And let's see if I get lucky here. All right, moment of truth. Oh, perfect. Nothing happens. Uh, rest go back in any order. I guess Marie Hill goes on top and uh, that's that. Kind of a bummer. Well, let's fight the Shi'ar here. KO it for three. Brings his Karnak's counter a little bit. And I can Soaring Flight a sidekick. So let's do that. Let's recruit a sidekick, Soaring Flight it because they are heroes. And it is a standard one. Good one to get. So recruit it and Soaring Flight it. All right. Moving on to regular full-sized hands now. Of course, right after I say that, watch me pull another Master Strike. Oh, thank goodness. It's not. It's a Shi'ar villain. Some more incredible art here, Plutonia. While the Mastermind has the throne's favor, you must spend Recruit to fight Plutonia instead of attack. That is not the case. I'll have to remember that if it changes. Ambush. The Mastermind gains the throne's favor. Oh, it just changed. That's why you read ahead. Cool. If I fight her, I gain the throne's favor back, and if I have it, I gain two Recruit. So she costs four Recruit to fight right now. Do I have that? Well, I've got a lot. The gray cards will give me through recruit one attack. Now, once again, I have to figure out the order of operations here. So looking at this, the most attack I can generate without drawing any cards is four plus three is seven, plus one is eight, plus one is nine. I can generate nine attack. Can't fight her with attack, not enough to hit Maximus. With his highest abomination right now, he's an 11. So I could teleport Medusa again and hope for a better hand next turn. Alternatively, I could play Crystal first to get the throne's favor. Then I could play Medusa to draw two cards. I would just need two more attack from those two cards to hit the Mastermind. I think that's a worthwhile gamble. I'm pretty sure I can get, unless I draw two shield agents, and I think I've KO'd a lot, I can get two attack. So I'm gonna take that gamble and try to do that. So I'll play Crystal first. Elemental Princess plus three attack. Gain the throne's favor. Good to steal it back from Maximus. I don't already have it, so that effect does not happen. Then we'll play Headstrong for more attack. Gain the throne's favor if you already have it, which I do. You may spend it to draw two cards. I will do that right now, so we'll spend this. And hopefully we get two attack out of these two cards somehow. And we have not. We just missed. I mean, there's a silver lining here, but we'll discuss that in a second. Let's play the other gray card here. Four recruit total. Two more attack potential from these Karnaks. And then we have Gorgon. Let's play Gorgon and not trigger his effects because I'm not going to have anything left I want to teleport. So we'll play him for two recruit. Now Karnak gets his double strategy. Now I will play both Karnak cards, which will give me a total of two attack together. Bringing me up to 10. Now I get to play both superpowers because Gorgon supplies the requirement for that. So not only do I get to draw one extra card next hand, but I get to draw two. So next hand should be a good one. Unless Maximus makes me discard down to something. More bad news. If I can get rid of both of these cards, a two attack in this city would be fine because I could hit Maximus for 10 because eight plus two is 10. I can't get rid of both of these. This crystal would be beneficial to me. So either I could recruit her for six. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, Maximus no longer has the throne's favor. So that means I can fight her with attack again. So let's do that first. Let's fight her with four attack. And when we do, I gain the throne's favor again. I would have gotten two extra recruit if I hadn't spent it, but uh, that wouldn't really help me. Okay, let's spend the four attack and KO her. And with my six recruit, I will go ahead and recruit this last uncommon crystal, and I will have all three uncommons in this deck on the right, so recruit. Okay, great. And what is going to replace her? Ooh, another one of these. I need to get that back on the left side. And with the throne's favor back in its proper place, that is the end of this turn. We've got a bit of a ways to go. I think we're doing okay. Okay, uh, time to put my strategy to the test. All right, this is Battlefront slash Scheme Twist number seven. I need to generate seven recruit in order to pay for the supply of the war. Can I do it? Place your bets now. Great news, looks like without even playing my sidekick here, I will be able to supply the war. So let's play all my gray cards. All right, I only need one more recruit. Now, should I play this Black Bolt now? Or should I play the sidekick to see if I get a blue card first? That'll only give me more recruit. My instinct is to play this Black Bolt. Don't trigger the superpower because there's no other blue card. And choose to not play the sidekick and keep it in my deck for next time because I won't really be able to do much of anything else. 
unlikely I'll be able to generate enough attack to hit Maximus anyway. So let's do that. Let's simply play Black Bolt for two recruit only. We will not play this sidekick next turn, so it'll be discarded along with the rest of my cards. And we'll pay seven of this eight recruit to supply the war. Okay, safe for now. I'm glad that worked out. And we'll go to the next turn. Four more scheme twists to go. Now this hand has eight cards in it. As long as I don't draw a Master Strike, I think I'll be happy. And okay, it's a scheme twist. Maybe that eight cards will help me get rid of this one too. Gotta love those back-to-back -back scheme twists, right? This is twist eight. There are eight battlefronts. I need eight recruits to pay for it. Okay, just from this, I have four recruit, half of what I need, but I have a couple of cards that'll help me draw other cards. We'll see if that works out for me. First, let's play all of our recruit gray cards. Okay, it makes sense to play Cypher before Red Wing here because they both let me look at the top cards of my deck and pick one to draw. But with Red Wing, you don't discard any. Cypher lets you discard one, so if I see one that's not a recruit, I can discard it. it. Gives Red Wing a better chance to pull up a high recruit cost card. Let's see what I can do. So Cypher will be first. Look at the top two cards of your deck. Draw one and discard the other. What are the top two cards? Oh, I only have one. Let's shuffle my discard. Okay, here we go. The top two are these two. Neither of these give me recruit. However, this one lets me draw a card if I have played an instinct card, which Red Wing is. So I will draw this one and discard my shield trooper. Okay, now we'll play Red Wing. Look at the top three cards of your deck. Draw one, put the rest back in any order. Okay, let's look at the top three. We have Maria Hill, excellent. Shield Agent and Karnak, brilliant strategist. Now I can draw one of these, put them back in whatever order I want, and then use Medusa to draw a second one. Unfortunately, that'll only give me a total of seven recruit, which is not enough. That's too bad, it was really close. Well, regardless, seeing as how I'm not gonna hit the threshold for recruit points that I want, I might as well take Karnak so I can at least make my next hand bigger instead of getting a recruit I'm not gonna use. So I will draw Karnak and put him in my hand here and put the other two back with the shield officer on top. And Red Wing goes back to the sidekicks. Well, that's bad. That means this helps Evil win, but let's play out the rest of my hand. Let's play this uh, shield trooper. Then we'll play Elemental Princess again. Gives me three attack, gain the throne's favor. I already have it. I may spend it to make this card all four of those types this turn. I'm gonna choose to not do that because I wanna use Medusa's effect instead. Splitting hairs, two more attack. Okay, I already have the throne's favor. I meet the requirement from Red Wing so I can spend to draw a card. And if I do that, it'll be a Maria Hill. It'll give me two more recruit, but there's not really anything I want to recruit for six. Actually, what if I had a Karnak over here? What does my victory pile look like on the right side? Okay, it's not great. I have two Shi'ar Imperial Elites, but it'll only give me two recruit, which is the same as a Maria Hill. So I don't think I want that Karnak over here. Much better use on the left side. So I won't spend it to draw a card. I'll save the Throne's Favor over here just in case. And then of course we trigger Brilliant Strategist Karnak, get one more attack, and we will draw one extra card at the end of this turn for the next hand. Can't do anything with that seven attack, kind of a bummer. Let's recruit this crystal because with the six cost uncommon crystals, she can be a five attack, which is gonna be very useful. We'll need to start getting her over there. So we'll recruit this crystal and replace with a Black Bolt for the left side maybe. Now I just checked if there's any uh, when recruited effects that could have let me hit the mastermind. These ones are Sewer's Abomination, which would only have given me plus three, which would give me 10. He's an 11. This one would have given me plus two again, same problem. So that's all I could have done. Okay, my turn's over. Oh, I forgot I was unable to pay for the war this round. So that was twist eight. If you don't pay by the end of turn, right after you draw a new hand, which I just did, stack a card from the shield officer stack next to the schema as a victorious general, the mastermind gains the throne's favor. Okay, what kind of shield officer do we get? Okay, another regular one. This goes this goes in the Victorious General stack. Now we have two there. Four more and I lose. And Maximus gets the Throne's Favor. And now we take our turn, hoping for good things. Not terrible. Okay, so again, the Mastermind has the Throne's Favor, so I have to spend Recruit to fight her instead of attack. Now luckily, her Ambush effect doesn't do anything if he already has the Throne's Favor. He just gains it, which he already does, so nothing happens. Okay, lots of cards. Probably can't do enough. Let's play our Grays. Three recruit, one attack. Let's play these two. Wordless Murmur gives me a total of two recruit and six attack. The two of them, that is. Declaration of War gives me back the throne's favor and gives me two attack. But that's all it's gonna do because I can't spend it. Okay, with nine attack, I once again cannot hit Maximus. However, I can make him a little weaker. If I recruit this Black Bolt for five, 
I get rid of the three attack card in the HQ, hopefully replace it with something that is a little weaker, then Maximus is not as strong. So let's go ahead and recruit him here. And crossing our fingers, hoping it's something a little weaker. And it is, it doesn't have any attack. So because of these two Gorgons, Maximus is now a 10 attack. So doable. And since Maximus no longer has the throne's favor, I can attack her with attack for four. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, I already have the throne's favor. So the fight effect is if you already have it, gain two recruit. So I gain two recruit. Oh, and then I spend attack to KO her. So I'm just now realizing there's something else I could have done. I had nine attack and five recruit. If I had recruited Gorgon, I would have triggered Sewer's Abomination from his when recruited effect. Black Bolt was in the sewers, that would have added plus three. So I would have had 12 attack and I could have hit Maximus. However, that would not have removed this Black Bolt, would have made it so he was still an 11 attack instead of 10. A little easier to hit should uh, help me in the long run as long as he doesn't pull anything. I hope that was the right choice. So naturally we'll spend our last two recruit to get a sidekick. And we've got another regular one, awesome. And that's it for this turn. Moving along. Okay, another Lash. Okay, Abomination in the sewers gives him plus nothing because she has no attack. Ambush, choose a hero from the HQ that doesn't have a printed attack of two or more, put it on the bottom of the hero deck. Now this is tough because this is the one I'm not really gonna need as much, but if I get rid of her, he becomes stronger in the sewers. I wish I can get rid of these, but these have a printed attack of two or more. I have to get rid of one of these two. This is too useful for the left side to get rid of. Shoot, I don't know. I also want this because that'll keep making sure I don't lose to the scheme. I'm gonna, I am gonna get rid of her. I'll be able to hit him once he gets out of the sewers or I might replace him with something good. So let's go ahead and put this crystal on the bottom of the hero deck. Okay, and I replace her with, oh no. Well, good for the left side, bad for him being stronger and the mastermind. Well, that would have happened no matter who I got rid of. So can't do much about that. So we'll have to update this, but let's go ahead and give Lashes plus three. And now let's see what I can do. If I get 10 attack, I'm gonna be pretty mad about it. Okay, I think I can do this. Let's play my gray card. Okay, three recruit. I'm not gonna trigger the special effect on these crystal cards, so let's play both of them. Okay, the first one gives me three attack and I gain the throne's favor. The second one gives me another three attack and I can use it to make it these four classes, but that won't help me this hand, so I will not do that. I will, however, gain the four attack from headstrong and spend the throne's favor to draw two cards. So I'll spend it. Okay, and now I need to shuffle my discard. I think this is my best hand so far. And I draw number one, number two. Oh well, two more recruit from those guys. Again, I'm not teleporting anything, so let's play Gorgon for simply two recruit. And finally, we'll play Karnak. Again, brilliant strategist will give me one attack and then lets me draw one extra card at the end of this turn for my next hand. And with everything played, lo and behold, I have just enough attack to hit Maximus. Let me double check, his base attack is eight, and then he has highest abomination. The card with the most printed attack in the HQ is this black bolt, which is three, eight plus three is 11. I can definitely hit him. So let's strike the mastermind for the first time. And he is punishing us by using his sieve of secrets. Each player reveals the top six cards of their deck, discards all the non-gray heroes revealed, and puts the rest back in any order. Let's check the left side, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three out of six get discarded. Kind of a bummer, but at least I know there's a recruit heavy hand coming. Here's the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oops. Well, now that's kind of a bummer. These could have worked really well together, but never mind. I meant the two crystal cards in case you couldn't see. So these go on top. That's kind of, that's too bad. Well, at least that tactic is gone now. Okay, now with my seven recruit, what should I do? You know, Gorgon would actually be pretty good over here because Crystal has that be every type card. So with Streets Abomination, uh, if I can get this Karnak recruited on the left side and get something more powerful there, it can basically counter Maximus's effect and help hit him. So let's do that. Let's recruit him for five. And then two remaining is perfect for a sidekick. What do we get? Uh, Throg, okay. Recruit Throg. Might help trigger Gorgon when they both come up. Well, I hit the Mastermind, that was good, right? Oops, forgot to refill. Nice, okay, left hand's turn. Gotta get him out of the sewers so his Abomination is weaker. Oh, excellent. Another chance to make Karnak stronger. So Lash goes down to a plus two reflecting crystal below him. Oh yeah, this is my hand that's not so good, huh? Oh man, this would have been the turn to draw a Scheme Twist. I have four Recruit here. And first, let's play Crystal here. 
not necessarily regretting the fact that she was on the left hand side, but I wish she was on the right. So four attack, and then I get to do my reveal the top four cards, draw one of each chromatic color. Here's the top four. Nope, 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 yes. So I get to draw him. I don't get to choose by the way, I have to do this. So he goes into my hand. That was thanks to the mastermind tactic. Now we'll play Wordless Murmur. Oops, had these backwards. I promised I wouldn't do that. Okay, which brings me up to seven attack and five recruit. So with this raid, I won't be able to hit Maximus, but I can generate a bunch of recruit if I play this Karnak after I fight the Shi'ar patrol craft. So let me go ahead and hit that for three. Even though I could hit Lash, I want to get that on the left side. So hit it for three. Oh, and I have a Soaring Flight next to it. I have to remember that. So now if I play Find Fatal Flaw, Karnak has really had time to analyze these patrol crafts because how many are in my victory pile? One, two, three, four, five, six now. So he gets six recruit. That's a lot. Bringing me up to a whopping 11 recruit. So let me check the one recruit is this time. He has Streets Abomination. Streets is just this Karnak, so nothing else is in there. So I won't get any additional attack. He'll give me plus two if I recruit him, so that'll get me up to six. This lets me KO a card with no rules text if I recruit it but that's not gonna help me. I have enough to recruit these two. I think that's what I wanna do. Let me go ahead and take this Black Bolt first. So I'll recruit him and see what is left. Oh, I don't think I've seen Royal Command yet. So three attack, when I recruit her, I gain the Throne's Favor right away. And then triggered by an Inhumans card, gain the Throne's Favor. If you already have it, you may spend it to KO one of your cards. I still have a lot of great cards, but it's not as high of a priority now. I've gotten rid of a few. Plus that would work better on the right side where there are other instinct cards that she can help with. Now the problem is she has three attack, which continues to keep Maximus at 11 attack. Either I recruit her now for the left side where she doesn't really fit, or I have to wait until the right side can recruit her. Regardless, it's a 50-50 chance of the scheme twist happening on either side of the game. I really want this Karnak to be here if I draw both of them. That's 12 recruit that can help me with any scheme twist that comes up. And two of those can really help me pay to supply the war. So I'm going to do that, I'm going to recruit this other Karnak right here, which will give me plus two attack for the when recruited effect, but I have to refill the HQ first. So we'll refill, then we'll get the plus two attack. And of course, oh wait, hold on, I have six attack left. No, that's not enough to hit him, but I have two recruit, so one more sidekick for me. And we've got another Throg, I guess the one with recruit is not bad, I'll be able to generate that extra plus two attack I'm sure. So recruit, and moving on, okay let's see. Another villain. All right, it's Omega. He has Abomination, and then we'll worry about the fight effect if and when we fight him. He is a four attack. Now that he's above Medusa, he is a seven attack, unfortunately, so plus three for him. Okay, what damage can I do here? Doesn't look like too much. Okay, my great cards are gonna give me three recruit and two attack, and then I don't wanna teleport. I want to draw an extra card next turn, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'll play Gorgon first again. No effect, just two recruit followed by Karnak, one more attack, and then I get to draw an extra card next turn. Okay, so I have five recruit, and I will recruit this Medusa to try to again lower the abomination level for Maximus, and also this card will be useful, so let's go ahead and recruit her. Okay, so I gain the throne's favor when I recruit her, so remember that, first she goes to my discard, then we refill the HQ, hopefully it's something, oh cool, that's gonna help, and then we gain the throne's favor. Okay, at least I weaken Maximus a bit, let's keep that going. Next turn. All right, what do we have here? Another Master Strike, shoot. All right, which Mastermind Tactic are we gonna get? We are going to get the Terrigen Bomb again. Put each hero from the HQ that doesn't, oh man, I was doing so well. That doesn't have a printed attack of two or more on the bottom of the hero deck. Maximus gains the Throne's Favor. If he already has it, he spends it. Well, the bad news is this will make Maximus stronger. The good news is maybe this will flush out Black Bolt's rare, we'll see. So it's these three that go on the bottom. So those go on the bottom. And then they are replaced with, and there it is. That's also good. Excellent, I want that badly. Let's see if I can recruit it this turn. And then Maximus gains the throne's favor. All right, can I recruit this Black Bolt? Please let me do it. All right, it's looking good. Let's play what we have. Okay, I have six recruit and one attack. If I play this sidekick, I just need two more recruit in order to recruit him. Hopefully I can do that. So we'll play the sidekick and let's see what we draw. Okay, the first card is, already did it. Second card is even better. Let's play the Murmur first. That gave me one recruit, three attack, and now we'll play this Black Bolt. Break the Silence gives me two more recruit. More than enough to recruit his rare. 
Then I trigger the superpower, gain the throne's favor, take it away from Maximus, that's always good. If you already have it, I don't already have it. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at Black Bolt's rare. You can see why I wanted it now. First of all, if I didn't recruit it, Maximus would have been plus five, which is bad, but I did recruit it. Second of all, check it out. Not only is he in a five attack, but it says gain the throne's favor. If you already have it, you may spend it to choose speak or don't speak, then reveal the top three cards of your deck. If you choose speak, you put all of them with rules text into your hand, and if you choose don't speak, you may KO any number of them with no rules text, and you put the rest back in any order. Pretty darn good card. So yes, please. Oh wait, if only I can get Soaring Flight on this, but I've already KO'd most of them. So let's just go ahead and recruit this card. And let's replace it, hopefully, with something with low attack. Okay, that's two. If I can get rid of this Medusa next turn, then Maximus will only be a plus two. And I only have four attack, nothing I can fight for four, and nothing I can recruit for one, so that's it for this turn. All right, I really need to pick things up soon. Okay, another one. I guess we should get these out of the way. All right, what's my next tactic? What is it gonna be? Random, random, random. I don't think I've got this one yet. Sure didn't. Each player KOs one of their tech or inhuman heroes or gains a wound. Oh, first time wounds are showing up. Let's see what I want to do. Look at the left side. Okay, the only one that's here is this Medusa. She's one of the weaker cards I have in this deck. Also, she is a green card that doesn't really fit with this side. And KOs don't count against the lose condition, so I am going to choose to KO Medusa over here to spare myself from the wound. Okay, now what about the right side? Oh, and guess what? Cypher here is a tech card. And he doesn't fit with the rest of the deck as well, so I'm going to go ahead and KO him. I got lucky with this one. I'm so sorry, Cypher. Okay, that was easy. All right, now what? Okay, looks like I have some opportunity to generate some attack this turn. Let's play my two grays. That gives me two recruit. All right, let's see how much I can do. So I think I first have to play this crystal card. Actually, this hand may not go the way I wanted to. I need five recruit to get this. I'm not going to be able to get five recruit. If I did, I'd get the throne's favor. I can only trigger this crystal throne's favor, but I, that only gives me the throne's favor. This Medusa only triggers when there's an instinct card and I don't have one, so I can't do her use the throne's favor effect. And Throg is short to recruit, so he won't generate any attack. Oh well, I'll be able to take out one of these villains though. Omega might give me something if I can take him out, so we'll see. So let me play her. I'll gain the throne's favor and get three attack. I'll play Splitting Hairs here only for the two attack. Then I play Earth, Air, Fire, and Water again only for the two attack. I'm up to seven, I'll play Throg here, which gives me two recruit. This hand didn't really synergize that well. However, I have seven, which is enough to take out Omega here. So let's go ahead and see what his fight effect is. Okay, choose Alpha or Omega, then reveal the top card of your deck. Alpha, if that card costs zero, KO it. Omega, if that card costs one or more, draw it. I'm gonna go ahead and say Omega, that it costs one or more. Let's see what it is. It was an Alpha, so nothing happens. Darn, well, he gets KO'd. Now with my four remaining recruit, I'll go ahead and recruit one of these crystals. If I get a big chain of these, I should get something good happening. So I'll recruit this one here. All right, and replace with another one of these. And that's it. Okay, four master strikes down, eight scheme twists down. This should not be one of them. Good, it's not. Okay, the unspoken double abomination. Exactly what it sounds like. You double the attack of the hero in the HQ below it and add it. Ambush. Choose a hero from the HQ that doesn't have a printed attack of two or more. Oh, I'm lucky. They all do. If that wasn't the case, put it on the bottom of the hero deck if there were no... Oh, oh man, if there were no such heroes... I just read the rest. If there were no such heroes, then each player gains a wound instead. So I guess we get wounds now. Perfect. Wound for the right side. Oh, cool. A grievous wound. Wound for the left. A regular one. I was really trying to avoid wounds. So with double abomination, he is a plus six. Great. What can I do? Okay, after KOing Medusa, this is my hand. Four recruit there. Now I could play Throg, trigger the six recruit, and get two attack, but that wouldn't do anything for me. So I'm going to choose... I'm going to get rid of Throg, so I'm going to play him anyway just to get two more recruit and then get rid of him at the end of my turn. I'm up to six, and uh, I'm not going to play the sidekick. I'm going to keep it for next time because it won't do anything for me this turn that well. I'm going to recruit one of these Black Bolts here. So recruit this and replace it with... Oh, another Karnak. Yes, more low attack heroes in the HQ. And I'll spend my last two recruit to get one more sidekick. I'm hoping it's regular. It's not regular, but I guess I'll take it. I don't have a choice. Okay. Okay, Thrall goes away, sidekick stays, and that's the end of my turn. I think this has been the longest time without the throne's favor moving around. Oh, hey, scheme twist. 
Okay, this is bad news for a couple of reasons. Not only is this scheme twist number nine, where if I can't pay it, I have to add two victorious generals instead of just one, but this is on the right side, and the right side is less equipped to generate lots of recruit. So I may fail this and be one scheme twist away from lo potentially losing. So I need to generate nine recruit to supply the war. Let's see if I can do that. Okay, the answer is maybe, probably not. Medusa can draw cards, but I have a lot of attack, which is good, but uh, not a lot of recruit, which is bad. But let's see what I can do. Let's play the Graze. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I want to trigger Medusa's draw cards to give me the best shot possible, so I'm gonna play one Elemental Princess. Gives me three attack and the throne's favor. That's all with that one. Next, I'm gonna play Headstrong. Gives me four attack. And I will use her effect with the throne's favor to spend it and draw two cards. So I'll spend the throne's favor, and then let's draw two cards. Gotta shuffle my discard. Okay, I hope these cards are good. Here's one, two, awesome. While this won't save me from the scheme, unfortunately, I can generate a lot of attack. So I'm gonna go ahead and play Royal Command. Gives me three attack, and I get to gain the throne's favor once again. So next I'll play my other crystal. Elemental Princess gives me three more attack. Up to 13 now. I have the Throne's Favor. I can spend it to make this card four different classes this turn. Every class except for tech. So I will go ahead and spend the Throne's Favor to do that. And that means I can trigger Gorgon's superpower. So he's a base two attack. Plus he has Streets Abomination. This Black Bolt card is in the streets and he has two attack. So Gorgon gets two more attack. Not bad. And then finally, of course, Karnak. One additional attack for me. And extra card next turn. Okay, so Maximus with Abomination is 11. Unfortunately, I can only hit him once this turn, but hit him once I will. Let's go ahead and strike the Mastermind for the second time. And he will be detonating his final Terrigen Bomb. Put each hero from the HQ that doesn't have a printed attack of two or more on the bottom of the hero deck. That's only this Karnak, so he goes to the bottom of the hero deck. And replaced with another Crystal. Maximus gains the Throne's Favor. And he didn't already have it. I've been good at avoiding that. I imagine playing with Maximus as a mastermind with non-Realm of Kings cards, that'll happen a lot more often. I like I like this setup. It's like the left hand sets him up and the right hand knocks him down. Hopefully I can do it in time. With my final seven attack, I can actually take out Lash because he is a seven attack right now. So we'll do that. And his fight effect, gain a hero from the HQ with no attack icon that costs four or less. You know what, I should have hit him first, but I didn't want the right side to have Karnak anyway, so. They all have attack icons, nothing happens. And we're gonna recruit one more crystal here. I really wanna pull all of these at the same time, but let's recruit this one. Okay, discard everything, draw seven, and turns over. Oh, let's replace her real quick. Ooh, interesting. Quick, let's look at Karnak's rare. Seek the center, four attack when recruited. Whenever you play a card this turn, including this one, you may first use that card's when recruited ability. Oh, awesome. Maybe I can get him on my left hand next turn. I almost forgot. I was not able to pay for the war, so what happens? If you can't pay, I draw my new hand, stack a card from the, okay, so this is twist nine, so I have to stack two shield officers next to the scheme as a victorious general, so we get two more victorious generals. Okay, what do we have? Okay, this time we lost the special officer, but that's okay. What's not okay is that there's four shield officers in this stack now, which means there are four victorious generals, there are two more scheme twists in the villain deck somewhere. If I draw one and I'm not able to supply the war for either one, I automatically lose an evil wind. I just have to hit Maximus three more times before that happens. I might be able to do that. Let's see. Okay, I really hope it's not a scheme twist. Oh, thank goodness it's not. Okay, let me hit the mastermind one more time, come on. Okay, this is a weird hand. I'm just gonna play everything all at once. None of them have any card text. Well, I generated 10 attack, but that's not enough to hit the Mastermind because of Medusa here. However, I did generate five recruit. I said I didn't want this Medusa on the left-hand side, but follow this. If I recruit her and she's replaced by a card with two attack or less, I can hit Maximus because of highest abomination. So let's take a gamble, let's do that. So I'm going to spend my five recruit to recruit Medusa here. Oh, and I gained the throne's favor when I recruit her anyway, so it goes away from Maximus. That's another good effect. So, uh, yeah, let's take a look. Okay, yeah, when recruited, gain the throne's favor. So I'm going to go ahead and recruit her and gain the throne's favor at the same time. Okay, now moment of truth. If this card is two or less attack, I can hit Maximus. Let's see. Yes, it is. It has no attack. Thank goodness. So let me double check. 
I have 10 attack. Max miss is 8 attack plus highest abomination. The highest attack value in the HQ is 2, so 8 plus 2 is 10. I can hit him for exactly 10. So let's do that, hit him one more time for 10 attack. Oh, it's this one again, Echo Tech Chorus Sentries. Each player KOs one of their tech or Inhumans heroes or gains a wound. I think I'm gonna gain the wound over here. I don't wanna get rid of any of these. They stack really well. So I will take a wound on the left side. And we've got a regular one, thank goodness. Okay, and on the right side, well, my turn's over after this, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these in my discard so I have room to look at the right side. Okay, what's on the right? Nope, no way I'm KOing any of these. I'm taking another wound on the right side. And we've got, thank goodness, another regular one. I can work with those. All right, another hit on Maximus. Two more, and I win. Can I do it in time? Next turn. Please, no scheme twist. I need a couple more turns. Oh, thank goodness. If you don't know the character of Gladiator, he's basically evil Superman. He has heat vision and ice breath and super strength and he flies around. And I'm sure he has a weakness like Kryptonite, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, Ambush, He gain the Mastermind gains the throne's favor. Okay, he gains it. I didn't already have it, so that doesn't happen. That's great. And that's it. Okay, we just got a glimpse of this hand and here it is again. Let's play the gray cards. So I'm in that situation again where I can't trigger the effects the way I want just because of the fact that I don't have the throne's favor right now. Is there another way I can get it? If I fight Gladiator, I can get it, but then I won't have any more attack to hit Maximus. Well, at the very least, I can get the throne off of the Mastermind, so let's play this crystal first. Okay, so three attack, and I gain the throne's favor for this card. Next, let's play Karnak. Brilliant Strategist, you know it by now, one attack. Next turn, one extra card. Now we'll just play both of these two cards. None of their effects trigger. Heard because I don't have four different elements and her because I don't have a instinct. So they total to four more attack. If I had one more attack, I could hit Maximus, but he is a 10 and I only have nine, unfortunately. So instead, I'm gonna hit Gladiator for seven and let's take a look at his effect. Fight, you gain the throne's favor. If you already have it, you may KO a card from your discard pile. So I'm going to do that. I have wounds in here, actually just the one. So I'm gonna KO this wound on top of my discard pile. Okay, that's gone. And now Gladiator's gone. And naturally, two more recruit means one more sidekick. And here it is, standard sidekick. Cool. Okay, gotta remember to draw one extra card next turn, and that is it for now. I was so close to hitting Maximus again. Darn. Okay, good, not a scheme twist, I can work with that. Lineage has Abomination, but no ambush effect. But he gets plus nothing from being above a non-attack card. Okay, wonderful, I have finally drawn Black Bolt's rare. Let's see how we can play this out. To recruit from our shield officer. All right, our two worthless murmurs will give us six total attack and two more recruit. Okay, now let's play the king's speech. Okay, first I get five attack right off the bat. That's not bad. Okay, read the fine print with me. Gain the throne's favor. Check if you already have it. I didn't already have it. Oh wait, I need to already have it. Rewind. I did this a little backwards. I want to use that effect. So first I'm gonna play this black bolt. Okay, let's try this again. First I gain two attack. Then I gain the throne's favor. I don't trigger this effect, I just get the throne. And now I can play the king's speech. Okay, now I add the five attack. Okay, I will spend it to choose speak or don't speak and then reveal the top three cards of your deck. So if I choose speak, all the ones with rules text go into my hand and don't speak, I can KO the ones with no rules text. I don't really wanna KO anything that's not a great card, so I'm gonna choose speak. Let's see what the top three cards of my deck are. Here we go. One, that doesn't get drawn. Two, that does get drawn. And three, that definitely gets drawn. Okay, speak was a good choice. Shield agent goes back into my deck. Okay, 13 attack and I still have all of this to go. So let's play crystals rare, one rare after another. Okay, first four attack from this, that's great. Okay, reveal the top four cards of your deck. Oh, this one, well you get to put one green, yellow, red, and blue into your hand. So let's do this. I only have four cards left in the deck and one of them's a gray, I know that already. There it is, hopefully I get something else. That's a blue. That's a gray, that's a gray. I draw just one, but that's fine. The rest go back. Okay, so that's done. Next we'll do Break the Silence to recruit for me. I trigger the superpower, gain the throne's favor. If you already, oh wait, I spent it to do the King's Speech, so it, I don't have it right now, so at first it goes away. Now I gain it, just like that, and that's it. Okay, now finally I get to play both of these Karnaks. One more time, find Fatal Flaw, choose a villain group, you get one recruit for each villain in your victory pile from that group. I'm pretty sure I wanna do the Shi'ar Patrol Crafts again, let me double check how many I have. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. There's one more out here. Do I want to sacrifice that? Let me do the math here. So that gives me plus six recruit times two. That'll give me 12 recruit. If I KO that, it'll give me 14 recruit plus six, which will, be, which will give me 20 recruit. So Maximus right now, he is a 10. Is there a way I could hit him twice? All right, you guys, I think I figured out using some when recruited abilities how to win. So if I play both of these Karnaks right now, both of these find fatal flaws, without KOing this Shi'ar patrol craft, I'm gonna get 12 total recruit, six from this one, six from that one. So I'm gonna play them both, give myself 12 recruit right now. Okay, I'm at a total of 18 recruit. The first thing I'm gonna recruit is this rare Karnak. This is Seek the Center, so when recruited, I get four attack, which will put me over the threshold I need to hit Maximus twice. So let's go ahead and recruit him right now. Refill the HQ first, and then we will get our plus four attack. There, we're at 21 right there. So Maximus right now, eight plus highest abomination. Highest abomination is two, so he is a 10 attack. So let's go ahead and strike him for his last tactic. Okay, each player discards down to four cards. Maximus gains the throne's favor. He doesn't already have it, so that's where it stops. I've played all my cards, nothing to discard. The right side, let's just discard two random cards, doesn't matter. Maximus is still an eight plus two. I have 10 attack. He has no more tactics left. So this is the final blow and this will win us the game. Wow, I didn't know if we were gonna win that one. One more scheme twist with a bad hand and we could have definitely lost that. I was lucky to be able to recruit so many rare cards this game, it really helped me out. And the fact that these Inhumans synergize with each other so well helps. I could definitely see how using things like Throne's Favor with the Randomizer with other cards that don't come from Roma Kings being very difficult. But this gave me a good challenge anyway. I really enjoy the when recruited keyword, it makes you think about the game in a different lens using the mechanics that already exist in a very different way, which I guess is the goal of all the keywords. And I'm really intrigued by cards like Crystal. I want to try her on a team with Captain America to see how much I can do with uh, multicolor cards. But all in all, this is another really solid set. Right after Into the Cosmos, they've been pumping out some really good stuff. And I'm really excited to play some more games with this and integrate these cards into the randomizer. Oh yeah, this was a victory. So let's go ahead and see which side got more victory points, the left side or the right side. Go ahead and take a guess right now and see if you can guess which hand was the individual winner. Here's the left hand. 6, 12, 18, 19, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 30, 31. 31 for the left side. Here's the right side. 5, 11, 15, 18, 18, 18 24, 6, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. Wow, two victory points apart. That tells me that both of these hands were pretty balanced and they worked together really well to do an equal amount of damage. Again, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, please subscribe if you enjoy these videos and you'd like to be notified when we're doing more. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to do more of these games more often and do some other things like some live streams. So please let me know in the comments what you'd like to see going forward. Make sure to check the description to find out where our Facebook, Twitter, and Discord groups are. And if you're just learning about the game or you have any friends that are interested in learning about Legendary, just send them one of my videos, let them watch it and see if it's for them. Again, thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.